In this example, we need to find the azimuth of line CB, and this is this is the line CB, and we want the azimuth of line CB. So this is the, uh, this is the node, and this is the azimuth of line CB. So what is the key for uh, for the solution of this problem? If we if we see this angle here, again, if we find this angle, uh, and we know alpha CA, then we add alpha here, alpha CB equals alpha CA plus, because the angle from the known, which is alpha CA, to the unknown is a clockwise angle, so we add it. So alpha CB equals alpha CA plus the angle here plus the unknown angle. So if we find the angle uh, that is unknown at, at C, then we can find alpha CB. But first, what is alpha CA also? Now, let's do the uh, some calculations to find this angle and to find the azimuth alpha CA. For now, we are given that line A, B, it is due, this one, it's due east. Due east means going to the east, and consequently, the azimuth of line A, B equals 90 degrees. And we already given that the line, the azimuth of line A, C is 210 degrees. So what, is, what angle is this? This angle here equals 210 degrees minus 90 degrees, and this is 120 degrees. Let's clean up and continue. So now, to find this angle, or the opposite angle here, we have uh, to use the law of sines. In the current situation, we have three, which is a side angle and side. And this, we cannot start with the law of sines, so we cannot calculate this angle or that angle. So we have first to start with the law of cosines, and then apply it and find line CD. Once we have the CD calculated, we can use the law of sines to calculate this angle and or this angle. So now, let's start with the law of cosines, CD equals... Actually, it is CB. Okay, CB. So CB equals 3.8 CB squared, 3.8 squared plus 6.4 squared minus 2, um, 3.8 multiplied by 6.4 multiplied by cosine the angle between them, which is 120 degrees. Doing the calculations, this will give us B C B square equals 79.72 and C B equals square root 7972 and this will give us 8.929 meter. This is for three decimal uh, places. So. Now, we found BC. Let's clean up and uh, then we will uh, do the law of sine. Now we continue. Here we just put the length of the line that we calculated it earlier. Then the law of sine using this angle and the opposite side and this angle and the opposite side. So, 8 0.929 over sine the opposite angle, it is 120 degrees, equals <coughs> 6.4. Now, of course, these are kilometers over sine, let's call it C angle. C ang sine C angle equals. 6.4 multiplied by sine 
120 degrees divided by 8.929 and this will give me after finding C equals arc sine and this will give me 38.4 degrees. Let's find it in, as we said, we need to do that in degrees minus seconds. <coughs> so what is the, what is the equivalent of this? Let's do that on the calculator. And to be exact, this angle is 38 degrees, 22 minutes, 11.96 seconds. So this is the angle C. Now, we want to clean up and continue the solution to find the azimuth of C, B. Now, to calculate the azimuth of uh, line C, B, we need the azimuth of line C, A. So, alpha C, A and alpha C, B. Now, we do not know alpha C, A. That's why we have to calculate it from the other side. So we know that alpha AC equals 210 degrees, which is this one. So we have to take the inverse, so the, or the back azimuth. So the back azimuth alpha CA equals, because alpha CA is more than 210, so it is 210 minus 180. So... Uh, this would be equal to 30 degrees. Uh, that's enough for now. And then we will move back to the, to the joint here, to the uh, vertex, and say alpha CB equals alpha CA. Since we will be moving uh, clockwise at the 30 degrees angle here, so this is plus 30 degrees. And this, uh, yeah, equals... Actually, this is uh, this angle is 38. We just found 38, 22, uh, 11, 96. This is seconds, and this is degrees, and this is minutes. Uh, so the alpha CB. Well, if uh, this is the 30 degrees, it is plus 38, 22, 11, 96. And this will equal 30, it is 68, 22, 11.96. End of solution. As an extra thing, if we want to find the length of C, B, from before, we can apply the law of, uh, law of cosines. This is the, this angle here, and this length, and this length, we can combine them together in the law of cosine and find the length of C, B. Thank you for listening.